defense of U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice after claims that she uh, misrepresented the situation in Libya days after the attack. She used talking points that were provided to her from the White House, but there is a question about whether those talking points were manipulated after they left the CIA. Secretary Rice, I'm sure, sorry, Ambassador Rice has never come out and clarified her initial statements, which we now know were not correct. Joining me now, Chris Plant, WMAL radio host uh, of The Chris Plant Show and political analyst Mark Hanna, who's a former aide to both the Kerry and Obama presidential campaigns. All right, so now this just actually came across uh, our desk moments ago. Now a dozen female members of the House have come out and said, this is, this is from Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, who's a Democrat of Ohio and the next chairwoman of the Congressional Black Caucus, who said this morning, quote, it is a shame that anytime something goes wrong, they pick on women and minorities. Really, really, Chris Plant, is that what this is about? They're taking pathetic to an all new level here, aren't they? I mean, look, this is, we've been dealing with a lot of this over the last four years, and I guess the next four years are going to be a lot like the last four years. Uh, the, the, uh, Ambassador Rice is the secretary from the United States of America, the ambassador, rather, from the United States of America to the United Nations. She's not a girl. She's not a black woman, first and foremost. She's the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. She's presumably an adult. She was sent out to do an adult's job. And the fact that they fall back continuously and repeatedly on this, you know, uh, we're going to sue you if you're mean to me stuff, is really astonishing and pathetic. But it's not surprising, I'm sorry to say. It's perfectly typical these days. Um, the ambassador is an adult. She should stand on her own two feet, whatever type of footwear she would like, uh, and, and act like an adult. And the ambassador of the United States, I, I saw this uh, story and I'm, I'm appalled, I'm embarrassed for them that they would try this, but yeah. I'm sadly not surprised. Mark, your thoughts, that are, is, are these Republicans who are raising questions about Susan Rice's fitness to possibly move on to the position of Secretary of State, are they, quote, picking on women and minorities? I won't for a minute try to get into the psychology of what the Republicans are thinking. I will just point out, though, that it is an interesting observation, perhaps coincidental, that you look at every one of the boogeymen and boogeymen and women uh, to Republicans, the people that Republican congressmen have chosen to go after in the Obama administration, whether it's Shirley Sherrod, Van Jones, Eric Holder, what's the one thing they have in common? And then we can scratch our heads and wonder whether that's a coincidence or not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll let you I mean, go for it, Chris. What, what, uh, what, uh, honestly, what? honestly, see, under your rules, here's the problem. The world that you imagine, only straight white males can hold positions of responsibility because if you can't be critical of government officials, if they're female, then you can't have government officials or you're not going to have a government that's accountable. If you can't be critical of, you know, a black president, then you really can't have a black president or you've got to have a government without accountability. And if you guys continue to play this card as uh, uh, honestly that you've been doing all along, uh, then then you can't have okay, Chris, serious let's, let's, adult let's, let's governance. Take off the table. Let's take this off to the but, but, but Mark, not, let me okay, ask maybe, you this. Let me ask you this. If sure, you, you really sure. think if they, that if President Obama had sent our Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, out there, who's a white male, right. to deliver these right. exact same no, talking they're, they're points, legitimate. he wouldn't have been taking the same amount of incoming as Susan Rice? No, look, there are legitimate critiques to be made. I'm just saying what, what oh, sort thanks. of has, who has emerged as this, you know, Chris wouldn't have mentioned footwear, I'm sure, if it was a, if it was a male uh, instead That's of Susan it. Rice in, in his screen. Wow. But listen, no, there, there are legitimate critiques to be made about what intelligence Hold on, let we... Hold finish. Go ahead, Mark. Let me just finish. About what we knew, when we knew it, what our intelligence community had gathered, and the accuracy of that intelligence in the immediate aftermath of what happened in Benghazi. So absolutely should uh, Ambassador Rice be, uh, you know, questioned about what she knew and when she knew it? For sure. But first and foremost, we have to remember that what happened in Benghazi was an attack on America, not necessarily a cover-up. By America, and so the thing that we should be investigating, the people who we should be holding accountable, are those terrorists with Ansar Al Sharia, who mm -hmm. you know murdered our right. American I mean, I ambassador. I think everybody can agree and on that. Everyone can agree on that. Okay, that, that we well, need, great. And if that, Senator that needs Lindsey to be a priority. Graham and Sen but the, but there is sure, a question. Senator, I mean, what, what these senators seem to be saying, Chris Plant, about Susan Rice is that they feel that they were misled by her. They feel the American people were misled by her. And now today we heard a new strain, which is she she had an obligation to follow up. I mean, she was given these talking points, but she also had access to the State Department that knew that this was a terrorist attack from day one. And why, you know, why wouldn't she have pursued that? Or maybe did she pursue that and then ignore the information? 
Uh, it appears based on what we're now gleaning more than two months after the event and long after the election has passed is that Susan Rice was chosen by the White House to be their patsy, to be their fall guy, if you will. How about fall gal? Uh, and, and uh, you know, her race and gender, I assume, had nothing to do with her selection when the White House decided that they were going to have her come out and provide the American people with a bunch of blurry, you know, misinformation, disinformation okay. that made it clear that we weren't going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, the White House hung her out to dry. All right. I got to leave it at that, although clearly Mark disagrees it with that point. Good directly to see you both. contradicts the president's comment.